Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Hall O'Mar. I'm Detective Superintendent in charge of ACT Policing Criminal Investigations. Uh, ACT Police homicide detectives are investigating uh, the death of a 38-year-old man who died uh, in an incident at the mental health unit uh, at the Canberra Hospital overnight. About midnight, police were called um, to the unit uh, and when they arrived, they found uh, staff at the mental health unit um, trying to revive and keep alive a 38-year-old man. And there was an 18-year-old man as well who had been secured within a secure uh, section uh, of the mental health unit. Unfortunately, the efforts to keep the 38-year-old man alive uh, were unsuccessful and he uh, died at the scene. Police subsequently took the 18-year-old man into custody, transported him to the City Watch House, and today he will be charged with one count of murder and appear before the ACT Magistrates Court tomorrow morning. Um, the inquiries are ongoing. It's very early in the investigation. Uh, we're trying to piece together what occurred during the incident and what led to the death of the 38-year-old man. Uh, there will be a post-mortem examination in the coming days and uh, we're hoping that that will uh, help us to identify what the, uh, or confirm what the cause and manner of death were. Um, also important to state that uh, while this is a criminal investigation, a person will be put before the ACT Magistrates Court, uh, the matter will be concurrently reported to the ACT Coroner. Um, our condolences go out to the family of the victim and our thoughts are with you um, today and the day is coming. Thank you. What injuries had the 38-year-old man sustained? Uh, well, at, at this point in time, it's premature to um, confirm what injuries um, had occurred. We can confirm that there wasn't. We don't believe that there was a, a weapon involved, uh, but the post-mortem, hopefully, we'll be able to confirm uh, what injuries caused the man's death. Were the two people known to each other? Uh, the two people weren't known to each other on a long-term basis, but they had uh, known each other within the mental health unit over the, uh, the past few days, yes. Both the 38, both the 38 year old man who died and the 18 year old man who will be charged with murder uh, were both patients at the mental health unit. Were any other staff or patients harmed? Sorry, sir, could you please keep looking? Sorry. Sorry. That's all right. Thank you. Uh, no, uh, other than the two people um, that were involved in the incident, there were no other people directly harmed uh, by the altercation last night. Did the hospital have any security staff that were there to intervene or was it a matter of waiting for police to arrive? Uh, when police arrived, the situation was in control. The security staff at the hospital had um, got the situation under control and it was a matter for, of them handing it over to us at that point in time. How many patients were in the unit on the night? Oh, I don't know. You probably... Um, ACT Health are obviously um, available to provide uh, those details. Um, you're probably best directing those inquiries to them. And the same for the number of staff on? Yes, that's right. Okay. Any other questions? Can you say anything more about what went wrong? You mentioned there was no weapon. Do you, as the police at this stage, believe that the unit was adequ adequately secure? Uh, it's very early in the investigation um, and we're still trying to determine exactly what occurred. Um, those investigations will form um, the, inf the information that's put before the court in the coming days, but also in terms of a report to the coroner. Were any other patients or staff in any danger during the incident? Uh, well, I guess I'll just refer to my previous answer in terms of our ongoing inquiries. All good. Any other questions? Cool. Well, Thank you very much. Thank you so Cheers. Much,